Hello, fellow humans, and welcome to this week's shop review. Now, Wargaming does have a pretty good marketing department, which means that their offers are well, well designed at separating you from your money. So let's now have a look at what's good in the shop, what's not good in the shop. And spoiler alert, there's a lot of things that is not good in the shop because, again, Wargaming knows all the tricks of sales to deceive you into buying things you don't want or don't need, just like this vehicle that is now new in the shop. Now, let's go through it. What is actually worth it and what is not. In the resources this time, there are no credits. So if you're looking for resources, then this is the rotation to get. These vehicles can be sold for 650, 650 and 750 gold, respectively. But it's still not really a good bundle. That's not really worth it. Now, the 047 is a bit of an interesting story here because it is in the great 5.5k bundle with 30 days of premium, 500,000 credits, and also 25 locked times fives. However, the problem with the 047 is that it's not that great. I mean, it's, it's very mediocre. So if you want it for the collector value, then it can somewhat be worth it. But to have a serious credit grinding vehicle here, just not the case here and there are better options with these 5.5k bundles like a t34 like a yak tiger 88 that come back this is the medium option here it's not really that great but if you want it for the value of the design then it can be worth it because it is still a great bundle just not a great tank tl7 120 it's a fine tank in a horrible bundle so absolutely stay away from it at all costs and so now these sturdy fellows i can recommend this bundle with quite a high certainty now here's the thing t77 one of the best tier rates in the game very great vehicle sort of the t57 heavy of tier 8 kind of hard to play ish because obviously it is an auto loader so if you are a intermediate to advanced player highly recommend picking up this vehicle and some osm is somewhat a downgrade version of the uh, t77 even though it does have one shot more in the clip it's a bit eh, yeah, there, there is better but out there but i can recommend this bundle because both of them Samoa is a good enough tank, and the T-77 is a great tank, so I can recommend these, especially if you already played autoloaders and you want some premium autoloaders to make some good creds with, this is what you want. And you still don't want to buy this thing because it's still overpriced. And no. And also, no. Why? Because it's a tier 7. It's very difficult to play, but 5k gold, 14 days of premium, it's not even 30 days, so like, you get ripped off. In, in comparison to the 047, which it's not a great tank, but you're getting ripped off here. So don't buy that at all. The Mighty Partners pretty much the same. Both vehicles have been given away for free in the past, and the Skoda T45 has no place in a bundle that actually costs money. So let's say that your 75 TS is paired with a M4190. Then this would be an excellent price and an excellent bundle, but that's not the case here. So I would stay away from this vehicle as well. Because it's the 5A, and it's still not good. The AMX M454 is being sold again in the shop for 20k as a tank itself. Bit much, given that the Chieftain is a better vehicle and has been sold for a significant less, and the T95 E6 has been sold for as low as 12,000 in an auction. So this is not really a good price for not such a good vehicle. I mean, it is quite useful for tournaments, for example. However, the problem is, this is a absolutely massive target with no side armor whatsoever, and pretty low dpm now it's sort of on par with what ai7 has to offer but ai7 actually has armor and size rather than at the front because the second you turn this vehicle just like that you absolutely have no armor and now warning this section can cause intestinal delamination or severe lack of money here we have a canavan d container and the d stands for <laughs> you're gonna have to pay a lot for this vehicle because that's exactly what's going to have to happen because here we have, again, lockboxes, mystery boxes, whatever the hell you want to call them. They're garbage. And the vehicle inside, well, we'll have a look at that later. But again, lockboxes are even worse of a sales model and also worse of a reward model than regular crates. So this is a very horrible deal right here. And then there is the bad company containers. And Wargaming at least has some sense of self-reflection putting something with that name into the store but again do not buy any of these containers whatsoever it doesn't matter if they're european kpz rh whatever it does not matter i don't care if you shove them up your ass just don't buy them furthermore there is this colossal abomination where you can gamble to gamble which 
is always very lovely. But as they say, it is very simple to separate a simple mind from their money, and that is exactly what this is. So again, stay the hell away from it. Let's first look at the Carnarvon Defender in comparison to the Carnarvon and the Action X. Now, obviously, it has a lot worse DPM, but it has 280 alpha damage and a three-shot autoloader. The accuracy and the aim time is worse. The gun depression is the same at 10 degrees, and the power-to-weight ratio is just slightly better than of the Action X and the regular Carnarvon. So, not really much here. And also, the armor doesn't really look that great in comparison, but I have something more for you. Let's hop into some gameplay and let's look at the T77 and the Sumo SM, which are in the shop right now compared to the Carnarvon Defender at a very much better price. So we can already see the T77 is a sort of better vehicle. The mobility is very similar. The armor is, well, not quite exact, but the problem of the Carnarvon is that the turret armor only really counts for the gun mantlet. And it has 380 alpha damage, so pretty good. The Samoa has a 310 alpha damage autoloader with also three shots and similar DPM. Obviously, the dispersion of that thing is horrible and also less mobility. So, essentially, we have uh, two vehicles there that are very comparable, if not better, in the case of the T-77, that are sold at a reasonable regular price in the shop. So, guess what you should pick up? Now, the problem is with lockboxes is essentially they're the worst form of crates as well. Because not only do they uh, exploit a model of, hey, you already have half of it in your inventory for free, so you might as well buy the key. They also offer significantly less rewards than regular crates, which is already not a lot. So basically what you're buying here is you're buying nothing. So the problem is obviously the vehicle fine. And if it's, let's say, at the same price of the T-77 or a Samoa, we could maybe talk about getting either of those three. But now, the value proposition simply isn't there, especially when at the same time you have two vehicles that are better or comparable in the case of the Samoa, or in the shop for a decent price. Because at this point, you might as well pick up the TL7-120, and that sounds like a good deal compared to what this is. But that's the case for every single new release. I don't think I have to tell you anymore that Wargaming hates you when they release new vehicles. Because all they want is your money in that regard, which is not very great. But as you always know, there's going to be like in a year or something, there's going to be a big Defender bundle with all five Defenders for like 25k gold. I'm still not going to re recommend it that time. But there is going to be that, so ignore this vehicle. And the T-77, it cost 20k gold when it released, now it's 7.5k, so it does take quite a long time for Wargaming to actually sell vehicles at a decent price. But once they do, they're very well worth picking up. So I highly recommend getting the T-77 if you are looking for a tier rate auto-loading heavy tank. If not, as always, my main recommendation stays and always will be the T-54E2. But generally, this isn't really a bad vehicle. I mean, the design of it is much improved compared to, let's say, an IS-3 Defender. So at least it looks nice if you want the vehicle for the looks. Again, wait for it to actually be sold at a price that is acceptable. And uh, as always, don't buy crates. And thank you for watching. See ya.